these are really pretty here. Ooh, doggy, look at these. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today, I have an awesome shipment of snakes that I'm very excited about. There are a few snakes in here that I've never owned and I've always kind of wanted to own and I've just never had the opportunity to get captive born babies and they are coming in along with a bunch of other cool animals. So I cannot wait to unbox them and share it with you. But before we get started, you can see these stickers right here. We've actually had these for a while. These are Don't Fear Respect, actually for my other channel, Snake Bites TV. And I'm gonna pick up about 12 of you right now down in the comments. Go ahead and tell me why I should send you a free sticker. I'll put 12 of you guys and I will send them off. What do you say we have an amazing day together? Set all your problems aside. Let's have a good time for the next 12 or 15 minutes or however long this video stands. I hope you guys are as excited about unboxing these snakes as I am. What do you say we get this box and go ahead and crack it open? Okay guys, I am actually really excited. You guys know that I love unboxing animals and this is an absolutely incredible shipment. We have a couple animals here and here that I've never actually seen as babies that I always just thought were really cool. So when I had an opportunity and I saw they were available, I'm like, yes, I've gotta get them. And then we have a bunch of other really cool stuff too. So regardless, it's gonna be amazing. What do you say we get started and open this sucker up and see what's inside? Oh, I am so excited. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Ooh, there's a bunch of really cool animals in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where do I start? Oh my gosh, there's uh, I, and it's interesting, you know, every time someone sends a shipment, it's interesting to see how, how differently they pack. Every shipment is really packed completely different. I'm not really sure what's better or what's worse, but regardless, we have a lot of animals in the shipment, so let's go ahead and just start breaking down what we have going on here. Okay, so the first animals I'm gonna show you is just some little banana ball python. You guys know that I'm always saying that we're selling almost every banana ball python that we're producing we can get, so when I had an opportunity to get some more uh, because we're almost sold out, I bought a bunch more banana ball pythons. Look at how absolutely gorgeous they are. These guys are so absolutely amazing. But trust me, I'm far from it. This, oh, these are really pretty here. Ooh, doggy, look at these. Look at these right here. These are actually what they call Puma ball pythons. And they're actually in the Super Stripe and Highway Complex. So basically what it is is a yellow belly bred to a spark and then it's allelic. So it's not like a double co dominant. It's actually like an allelic animal and you put them together and one in four on average come out pumas. And speaking of gorgeous, this is a little blue eyed leucistic right here. And it's interesting how every blue eyed leucistic is a little bit different. This one you can see a little bit of pattern on the head and there's a little faint stripe on it. Oh, Oh, these guys are beauties. But then there's this little monkey right here. This, of course, is a pastel puma, just like the other puma ball python, but this has the pastel in it too. So again, this is a yellow belly spark and then a pastel gene. Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous. And then we got a bunch of albino ball pythons. Albino ball pythons are always such popular animals. Again, it's one of those animals just like the bananas that no matter how many get, we always sell every single one of them. So I picked up some more albinos, but that's not it. I also picked up something more than just an albino. And that would be the albino spider ball pythons. I mean, take a look at how cool that is. Again, this is a recessive albino and then the incomplete dominant spider. It just makes for a really cool pattern. I absolutely love them. So Again, when I'm buying all this stuff, I'm like, oh my god, no bonus spider. I'm buying it. I also picked up a bunch of little ivory ball pythons. Now, the ivory ball pythons are white, just like the blue-eyed leucistic, but you can see they're not as pure white, and they have a little bit of soot on the head and a little bit of pattern on them. They're still really beautiful, but these are just super yellow bellies, and this one looks like it's actually a pastel ivory, too, because it's got a really faded head. So the ivories are just another form of white snake that I think are absolutely gorgeous and extremely popular. But there were a couple animals in this shipment, and this is one of them that I was super excited about. Remember the other day when I got all those pieball ball pythons? Well, I wanted to pick up this right here, which is what they call a spy ball python. Now, the spy ball pythons are actually a spider pieball ball python. And for whatever reason, when you breed the spider in the pies, you get an all white snake with only a head pattern. So you really never get any more pattern. So these are truly consistent 90% white producers. So those of you that like really high white pieball ball pythons, but you know it's a random trait, 
this is the way to go. And I've never actually had any of the spider pied or spied stuff. So I thought, why not pick up a female and raise her up for a future breeder? And then a bunch more albino ball pythons. In all honesty, let's face it, can you really have too many albino ball pythons? I think not. But we did get one other type of albino ball python mutation that we were the very first ones that ever produced them. So I haven't had them in a couple years, but I thought, man, I need to get back into them. And that's, of course, these albino pinstripes right here. And for those of you that don't know, we produced the very first pinstripe ball pythons way back in the day and of course we produce albinos and ghosts and a whole bunch of different stuff and take a look at how gorgeous they are and then in this cup right here we actually just have another little blue-eyed leucistic and an albino look at how absolutely adorable those things are aren't they absolutely cool oh my gosh i tell you what albinos and blue-eyed leucistics these were the things that dreams were made up when we first started working with ball pythons and now i can hold two of them at the same time i mean it's awesome and now that the price has really become affordable you guys can own them as well it's no longer you know 20 30 40 50 thousand dollars oh my gosh these things are awesome now i tell you what i've got one last thing that's in the shipment but i'm going to gather up a few of the crew because they were super excited about it as excited as i was because this is an animal that for many years i've been looking at going man i really want to work with those but i haven't really found any captive born babies so when my buddy had a bunch of captive babies i was like i'm buying them so let me gather up the crew and we'll meet back here and we'll look at these last few animals i'm pretty excited about it okay so i gathered the crew up and of course they can look at all these cool ball pythons here when we're done but I want to show them the same thing that I'm excited about and these guys are absolutely cool let me back up a second the first live bearing snake I ever produced was what they call a Solomon Island boa or a Candoia carinata there happens to be something that's called a Candoia asper which is the viper boas now I've always liked them but I've never owned one I've never worked with them because I've always wanted captive ones and guess what we have some little babies here and here the little guys are take a look at this guys I mean it's a little bit baby red viper boa and that's the thing there's a bunch of different colors of these guys and this is what they would call the red version take a look at this oh, cute? what cutie they're so little and then he also sent some that are kind of like a hypo or like a really tan color one so let's take a look at these guys too oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. look at that oh, I mean that are. thing is cool these guys look like little crazy vipers man I guess that's why they call them viper boas right so yeah, that so is cute. absolutely cool so short. look at it <laughs> isn't it like absolutely cute worm. yeah I know <laughs> I mean, that is the it's cutest so little chill. thing in the like, world. I'm precious and innocent. <laughs> Poor Eric doesn't have one. Okay, and then lastly, <laughs> <laughs> lastly, we got, this is what the normals actually look like. So there was the red ones and the tan ones. And that's basically what a little baby yeah, normal looks cool. like right there. So how cool is that? And Eric, now you get one. You get a Viper Boa. You get a Viper Boa. Yeah. <laughs> you get a Viper Boa. So, all right, guys. So that is the unboxing today. It is absolutely great. They're going to great things. So we're just going to play with these Viper Boas. We're going to look at some cool ball pythons. And then we have to, of course, get these guys all set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. You ever have just one of those days? Lazy days. Lazy days. <laughs> what are you guys doing? The whole Motley crew is here. Just so you guys know, there's a little update. Remember how Speedy had a little bit of a goofy eye and stuff like that? He's 100% fine. He is running around being a maniac here. He has become so habituated to humans over the last couple years that he used to be kind of afraid of people. Now he's like, really, he'll follow you around and stuff like that. So Speedy. You are an amazing little tortoise. I absolutely love you to death. And I need to get a Galapagos. That is my next big thing, or an Aldabra tortoise. I think I'm, I think I'm trying to do work, <laughs> get these geckos out of the site, but these two are not letting me. <laughs> I can't see and they're trying to kiss me. Lori is like the dog whisperer. She is always, <laughs> her dogs love her to death, that's for sure. So what, you're just getting stuff on the site or what? Yep, just trying to add more geckos. We sold a lot and God knows we have a lot more that needs to get on the site. <laughs> <laughs> just to give you guys kind of the idea, I think that we have, how many do you think we have on the site? A few hundred or more? Probably, yeah. Okay. Well, we have about 3,000, so to give you an idea. Uh, but, you know, actually, a good buddy of mine, Ben, remember the one that we did the Waggler's Vipers with and his son, Lorenzo? Well, Ben is coming over with his daughter, and they're going to pick out a couple of geckos here soon, right? They're on their way? Yes, Do you know what kind way. of geckos they're going to get? I don't know. I, I have no idea which one. She's got a tank ready. She wants to put two in there, so... 
We'll see. And just so you guys know, if you're ever thinking about getting a couple geckos, you definitely want to get two females because a male and female can sometimes be a problem. Two males are definitely a no-no. But if you have two females or three females or even four females, you can keep them communally in a tank and they do absolutely fine. Regardless, they're going to be here in a minute and hopefully we'll pick out a couple of really cool geckos. All right, so my friend Ben is here and his daughter Sammy and she's the one that's picking out some geckos. Ben, I hear she's been bugging you for a while, huh? A long time. A long, a long time. time. Yeah. Excited? Yeah. yeah. There's okay. sticky notes all over the house and <laughs> yeah, and call Brian. We got to go see him. And... That's awesome. It's always good to have a best friend that breeds reptiles when your daughter wants a gecko. So uh, she's not 100% sure what she's going to want. So she's just going to look through and kind of see the stuff that she is going to be cool. Maybe a little one, a bigger one, whatever it is. We'll have her look through. And once she narrows it down, we'll find a couple cool geckos. Progress? Yes? No? I think so. We have a possible already set aside and then Ooh, she seems to like this bell. one too. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Bold Bells are one of my favorites. That's a good choice, Sammy. Well, I think that might be a good pair right there. That's a Super Snow and a Bold Bell. And what I mean by pair is a pair of female. But down the road, they can actually go and breed, like say a Bold Snow, maybe a Bold Snow White and Yellow. You're gonna get really nice bold stuff that's white and yellow. You're gonna get Super Snow, Bold, White and Yellow. So that might be the way to go. But for now, Sammy's just looking for two females and uh, you gonna breed them in the future? Are we gonna breed them in the future? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course they are. So now they'll come back and get probably something like a Bold Snow, White and Yellow, maybe in uh, it's six or eight months. And, and these girls will be ready to breed literally this, this coming summer, so. Wow. So yeah, very cool. Okay, so the winners are <laughs> Super Snow Female and a Bold Bell. Beautiful animals. You excited? Yeah. Awesome. Do you have names picked out yet? Are you gonna? No. no? Okay. Go ahead down in the comments, guys. What would you name a Super Snow Female or a Bold Bell Female? Uh, and then Sammy can read the comments and she can decide if she likes your name and she does great. If she doesn't, then sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So there it is. I tell you what, I am so excited about those new Viper bows and all those cool ball pythons that I got in today. I tell you, I'm like a kid in a candy store. And how great is it to have good friends like Ben, Sammy, and Lorenzo that are so passionate about reptiles? It's so cool to see her as excited as I would be about getting those geckos. So having her get those is absolutely amazing. And I promise to keep you guys updated on the progress of her geckos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me and I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Let's get this video as many likes as possible as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody today and I promise I'm going to See you guys tomorrow.